Hey, what's up, y'all? So, um, I just left the gym, trying to get a good, that should be good enough. Just left the gym, wanted to talk about a few things. It's five o'clock in the morning. Um, <clears throat> and just wanted to talk about some things that I'm sitting in here talking to myself about. Um, I just had this thought that if I was to see my dad and, you know, a lot of family members and stuff like that, uh, that they would say <clears throat> something like, oh man, you, I see you getting a little, you getting a little, whatever they getting a little muscle or whatever the hell they would call it. Right. And I know this to be, they'll grab my arm and, oh, they'll do something like that. So, um, I just know a lot about a lot, you know, and that's, that's, that's one of the things that I used to, uh, well, I'm not, not used to, but that's one of the things that I've said before, which is I have a lot of talent or whatever you want to call it, multiple gifts in regards to anything athletic. There are really no limitations baseball whatever you know i have a, a, a sense of muscle memory um you, you guys know how people can like em, emulate people's voices and um you know we got these great impersonators i, I don't know what i guess impression impressionists that you know and I, I have that gift as well so i've always told myself man you know and I was sitting here thinking to myself, like, when they start doing that, like, ooh, they, ooh, yeah, you. And I'd be like, dude, get off of me. <laughs> like, get off. Like, like, no, like, I'm not impressed. I'm not impressed with, you know, um, and it's not, this is not a, this is not a gloating or, or braggadocious moment or anything like that. I know what the fuck I'm doing in the gym. I've always knew what the fuck I was doing in the gym. Back when I was 14, 15, 16 in that area, I was into bodybuilding. I used to go to Walmart and I used to buy all the the uh, the magazines and stuff like that. I actually transitioned from wrestling because I seen Triple H uh, on the front of the, the muscle uh, and fitness magazine. So I started, you know, just looking at stuff in there like, oh, you know, the correlation between wrestlers and bodybuilding and stuff like that you know and i got into fitness like that you know and what really allowed me to take it to the next level was uh when i found a bodybuilder named uh kai green um and and i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm saying um a lot i i get annoyed with it myself but i'll try to leave a link to who kai green is and by the way, I did make an intro when I was at work. 10 second intro. Oh, it's a bad intro. That's a bad motherfucker there, man. That's a nice intro. But I don't know how to put it before my videos or anything like that. I know how, but it's a matter of like upload speed or something. I, I was doing it at work and I mean, you're, we're talking about an eight-minute video with, you know, a 10-second intro added to an eight-minute video, and it just, it never finished downloading, and I tried downloading and installing. I'm doing all this from a cell phone, so I'm sure it'll work with other devices, and it'll upload faster and stuff like that, so, but that intro, man, I'm going to upload it just by itself. It's a bad, hey, that's all I'm going to say, so. Uh, yeah, man, I, I'm just, I'm not, you know, and I tell you guys that type of stuff that happened to me at work, I don't care about, hey, Charles, these are some really nice people, because I guess I was so used to failure as a kid and as a teenager and a young adult that when I do good things, and it's like my stepmother that if she was to hear me say this, she would cry or be shocked, but anything i do i everything i do i do my best and that, that's not just some saying everything i do i do my best everything everything um 
it's in me to do it that way. I sometimes have to coach myself through certain things. Like, I tell you, every video I make, I'm always like, I don't feel like making no damn video. I don't feel like having that light shining in my face. Um, everything I do outside of these videos, I damn near have to coach myself through it. And it's the thing like today where uh, I feel like I'm screaming. It's the thing like where today I got off from work and just before work, I had a really, uh, I had a real disturbing morning. You know, I don't like going to bed at nine. I mean, sometimes I feel like I'm not going to get any sleep. And when I finally do fall asleep um, and I wake up, it's still hot. I live in Houston, Texas, man, and it's still hot. I mean, so I came up with some type of plan of like, and then, of course, I had to, you know, uh, what they call it, like pawn my, my Nintendo. I'm doing this every week, like every, you know, like every other week or whatever. And it costs, it damn it cost me a hundred bucks, basically a hundred bucks on top of asking my cousin Denzel for 20 bucks as well. So this is all, this is damn near have been ritualistic, it's spending almost a hundred dollars every day that I get paid. Uh, every you know every Wednesday when I get paid and uh, you know that's real frustrating it, it, I, I see myself getting closer and closer as far as like oh, okay you made it one day you made it two days without having to you know go and go and uh, pawn the game so you know I micromanage all of my like I could tell myself honestly where did all my spending go this time uh, there were about Bro, there is a mosquito in here or something that keeps tapping me. It's irritating. Uh, but I, 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 I calculated to myself like, okay, I did. There was something that I could have saved about thirty bucks, you know. Um, but outside of that, man, it's you know, when I woke up in that pool of sweat, not really pool of sweat, but sweaty, like uncomfortable sweaty uh you know and knowing that i had like okay man we finna go through this whole ritual of like get on the bus go pawn a deal come back to work well, and this time i might have to go to cvs to go get my 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 allergy pills and uh you know that's always three damn near three four dollars more than getting them at walmart but I didn't have the money to get it at Walmart, which is right here across the street. So I'm like, all right, here's a, here's a leg. I got to pull it off. Got to get the meds. And uh, I probably say within that, that first hour of being awake. Well, no, I think it was when I was waiting on the bus. I had to cry, man. And I ain't going to say I had to. It just happened. I think I've made about three videos where I, I explained, like, man, I just... Like, I be having these moments where it's like, it just happens. Like, it, the tears just come because I'm like, I'm tired of it. You know what I'm saying? And I'm somebody who, I mean what I say. And if my, if, if the way I feel about something, if I'm convinced to feel like that because, like, I, you know, that I'm, I, it's set in stone. You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't, I'm not no flippy floppy you know, type of person when it come to decisions that I make. And uh, when I made that, I, I don't know, like the tears just started coming, man. I was like, I'm just tired of this shit, dog. I'm tired of it. And I told myself, I'm going to take this money and I'm going to go buy them screws and I'm going to go buy that wrench or whatever that tool is called. I'm going to take all these boards from underneath this tent. I'm going to take the tent down. So basically, all of this stuff that I was telling myself I was going to do, this is what I didn't end up doing. Instead, I went to the gym. But I was just like, dog, like, I'm going to build this fucking little camper house, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to build it. But see, the problem is, is that if I get, you know, deep into the project, obviously, I'm building it to get from out of the woods because, um... Uh, being just outside of the woods, 
I can feel more of the breeze that's just coming through, hitting that concrete and just bouncing off all the concrete walls and the ground and stuff and just come in here. And I know that can increase my sleep. But I just been like, dog, like, I don't want nobody fucking with me behind this. I don't want, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to worry while I'm at work. Like, oh man, could something, could, could, could it be, could somebody be bothering it and stuff like that? Like, I don't even have the ability to put a lock on it. You know, like actually put hinges in the door and a lock. I don't have all that right now. So that's why I also said in another video, like, man, I'm to the point where I just want to like save and get a car. And I know, you know, somebody hearing that because I hear myself saying that like, duh, nigga, what the fuck you think you do? What, what, what? Come on, man. Get your head out your ass, CJ. Duh, you need to get a fucking car, fool. Stop trying to build all this extra shit because you tired of one or two nights where you look at a roach or, you know, you got to clean up a little puddle of water if it's storm or something like that. Like, come on, man. And that's what I say, like, I believe God, whoever that is, gave us that inner voice to talk to ourselves. I listen to mine more than I listen to anything on this planet. I listen to my own inner voice. And when I'm telling myself, like, dog, just go home. Just go home. Smoke. Sit down. Because now I don't have the game. So... I resort to the little game on my phone, which is, 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 is President Simulator. So you're the president of whatever country you want to play. I was going to do that before the video. But I was like, man, get the video out so you can get the thoughts out of your head. That's what's important, getting it out of my own head. Because I'll be in here talking to myself. Um, so... You know, I just, uh, I try to just make those type of sacrifices, you know, right now, do I want to be in this tent and all of that? No, I don't. I don't, I don't, I don't want to do this shit. I don't, I hate this shit. But one of the things that I did to try to counter that was get a gym membership right here across the street at 24 hour fitness see there there's just certain things that are just glaring you in the face at least me just looking you in the face like nick get the gym membership you ain't gonna have to pay the whole 40 whatever right now you can pay your dollar they gonna hit you next month hope you know you'll have the money but you then have to compare that to okay do I feel better and all of this stuff since I've been going to the gym? Absolutely. Absolutely. A lot of the walking that I normally do, it doesn't even affect me. It, it don't even affect me. Um, I'll share a little bit about, you know, the workouts and stuff like that, what I do. But um, well, I'll just say it here. Um, again, I know a lot about a lot. And when it comes to fitness, I break this shit down to the, to the, to the, what they call it, to a cellular level. And for me, I'm not overweight. I'm actually underweight. And uh, being that I'm underweight, let me check the let me check the phone right quick. See if it ain't just pause or nothing stupid. Oh no, we're still going 15 minutes strong. So when I say that I break things down to a oh shit, what is it doing? Did it stop? Oh no, we're still going. Uh, when I say that I break it down to a cellular level, uh, I hope it's still on me, y'all. I don't, I'm tired of, I don't want to press no buttons on it or nothing and stop the video, but, um, the way that I consider the correct way of exercising for my body type, my metabolism, I have the metabolism, I guess, of a hummingbird. And I only say that because I smoke and smoking stimulates certain things in your body that will trigger hunger. 
you know, see, you see where I'm going with this? So it's going to increase your levels of, uh, you're going to be dehydrated and all these different things. So right out of the gate, I have to understand that when I'm like, okay, well, how are you going to approach this? Are you going to go in the gym and just start lifting, you know, curls? Are you going to do some bench press? Are you going to do some pull-ups? What you, 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 you going to, uh, you're going to do some, uh, some, uh, 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 some, uh, sorry, y'all. I got to keep my eyes on everything because they've been, look, I got, I work at a pizza joint, so you can bet your ass there's a lot of stuff trying to get in this damn tent because they smell pizza. So any little thing I hear, anything like that, I got to be ready to whoosh, smack it down. Uh, but anyway, no, that's not what the fuck I'm doing in there. See, when I go in there, we get our black ass on the ground. First thing first, you get on the ground and you stretch. You stretch your quads. That's the top of the thigh. You stretch your hamstrings. What I do is called treatment. I had to learn treatment because of the migraines. And I told y'all back when I didn't know what I know now, my body used to be shot. So I started just like finding little ways to massage myself. I used to have tennis balls and I put them in a sock and roll around on the ground on the, in, you know with the sock on me. A lot of people would, you know, whatever. So I still do that to this day now, even though I feel fine, but my lifestyle obviously leaves a lot of knots and kinks and things like that that I like to, you know, do the best that I can to alleviate that pain. And uh, so that's what I do. I go in there, we getting on the ground. We stretch. Stretching may take 30 minutes. Uh, but after we stretch, I have not lifted weights. I have not done any of this stuff in years. Uh, the only physical activity that I have is my lifestyle. So with that being the case, um, we starting off with 100 push-ups and 100 sit-ups. Now, I say 100 not because it's a high number or anything like that, but because I've actually now had the benefit of, I told y'all, taking magnesium. I was very deficient in magnesium where I could, I wouldn't even be wanting to make this video because my body would be hurting. I'd just be laying here irritated. Watch the sun come up constantly cracking my neck and rubbing my back and all of that shit and that's another thing i was like i'd rather be sore from lifting weights than sore from just not sleeping and just aches and pains and shit so i told myself when i like after you know a couple days after taking it um that i was like man this this is a lot easier um uh, than before because my joints and my nerves and all that allow me to kind of push through more of these push-ups so um uh it's a it's a common thing though that the more reps you do the more muscle growth so i'm telling myself in my head no we're not doing 10 we're not doing 12 we're not doing 15 even though that's you know for somebody getting back in there we're doing 20, okay? Shout out to Ronnie Coleman, eight-time Mr. Olympia. So that's how you you have to break the body down in that way. I know a lot of you guys have heard about, like, till failure. Um, so that's what I started doing. You have to strengthen your ligaments and tendons and those small muscle fibers that when you're somebody going in there just doing cur, we already seen them. I've already seen like three things in this gym that I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Seen a dude in there uh, uh, jacking off. Seen a dude in there taking a nude pic. Just butt ass naked in there with all these dudes. Taking a in the mirror. I seen, uh, I, I mean, it's just some bizarre, I mean, it, it's wild. Seen the dude, whatever. Anyway, so, um, when you can't, 
when you find yourself going in there lifting crazy weights like 99.9% of, of guys are going to do, dudes ain't going in there and they're not going to tell themselves, <clears throat> okay, for six weeks, I'm doing nothing but push-ups, sit-ups, and pull-ups. That's it. Fuck no. It's too many women. On a spiritual level, your ego and your patience is going to get disturbed because you're like, man, when do I get the goddamn weights, man? I want to flex, bro. I'm, I'm ready to, you know, I don't want to do this little sissy shit. And I can tell you now, everybody in there, even the ones that do have an actual physique, you can tell a lot of these people, they just, they've lost the way of basic training. Squats, pull-ups, sit-ups, dips, uh, deadlift. Uh, you know, it, it's a lot of things that people want to, and you're going to see in my intro, I don't skip steps and I don't, uh, I don't take shortcuts. That's what that says on my, you know, we don't take shortcuts and we ain't skipping steps around here. I told you, so when I was in school, I used to have people that thought they wanted to work out with me. And by the time they see how long I stretch, they like, man, I ain't trying to, this nigga take this shit too serious. And I would just shake my head like taking, taking working out too serious. That's like, man, you, you, you driving this airplane way too serious. Well, I hope he is. That's how silly that sounds to me. You, 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 man, you do all this stretching and I'm trying to, I'm trying to get, I'm, you know, I'm trying to do some, they used to always tell me, man, I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to get my, I'm trying to get my shoulders like yours. I want my shoulders like that. I couldn't do it. And I, I'm not a big talker. I don't like talking. I wear hoodies. Shout out to Kai Green again. I wear hoodies when I work out. I don't work out with a t-shirt. I prefer to work out with no air condition. <clears throat> you can't cook with cold grease. Shout out to Floyd Mayweather. You can't cook with cold grease. Um, and I don't do all the fancy equipment and all of this stuff. I don't wear, you know, I told y'all what I wear. I put a hoodie on with no shirt underneath it or a regular old t-shirt or a sweater or a lot of times, hell, I was working out in a button-up shirt. You know, it, it is what it is with me. It, you know, that, that, that yeah. So, um, push-ups, <clears throat> sit-ups. That means front, upper, side. That all should equal 100 because you're doing 20 reps. So, 10, 20, uh, 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 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Okay? And uh, in between those, you know, different ones, like today I just went all the way through with the abs, but I flip over in between those reps, you know, just, you know, whatever. And we do the push ups. And when we do the push ups, uh, again, Kai Green taught me so much that I was never nervous about ever getting back into the gym never because i knew just like that i could turn everything around there's a video of me in my uh in my underwear i think it's like talk uh, small talk before work and then something like this I, I don't know if you guys can see but i i don't flex often i, I don't flex at all but you know you can see the muscle gains there and a big difference so I'm in and then I've only been doing this for what three weeks, you know, not to mention the showers. So I, you know, that's that that's that's how we get down. Then we go to the pull ups. We do not, I repeat, we do not do chin ups, we do pull ups. Okay, so that means if all you got is enough strength and enough strength in your hands and stuff to pull all the way up one time. then one rep is all you do because you want to do one rep correctly opposed to doing five reps incorrectly so uh, with everything that i do i do a full range of motion full range of motion is to basically complement the human frame the human body the, the, the frame 
you, you, you don't want your arms stuck like this. You don't want certain things on your body to, to kind of like, you want to go full range of motion. Yep, when you do short reps, that's where you get the, what they call the pump. So when you start off, you may do, you know, one, uh, if you're doing a, you know, a, 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 I forgot what this curl is called, but you have your hand on the inside, your elbow inside of your knee, and you start off, you know, and you may go down to maybe your first five, one, two, three, four, five, and then start going all the way down, all the way down, till you damn near flex your tricep to come back up. These are just natural things of how you build optimal level muscle. Um, and of course, some of it is genetics. But yeah, got back into the gym. And uh, that's something that I, it, it, it's very beneficial. I feel like it's very beneficial, um, not only on the inside, but the outside as well, as far as just having the stamina to get through one day. And, uh, yeah, it, it'll help cut out a lot of the sweets, you know, keep my diet more basic but healthy. And, uh, again, I know a lot about a lot. So, um, but what, one thing that really got me wanting to make a video was, <sighs> you know, these people, particularly women, particularly women from other countries Africa Ghana you know they have the accent like this I don't know where the hell what the hell why the hell where is that from but these individuals from what I've experienced you know you can say what you want about blacks you know that's that's the one thing that I'm proud to be which is black because if I say anything about my brothers and sisters, you're not going to do shit to me. Again, I mean, hell, even if a white dude said you're not going to do nothing to him because we live in a soft era where people talk, 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 talk. You know, a white dude can come out and say, damn, them niggas is making me sick. And people would just say, man, cancel him. He's a racist or whatever. You know, you might have a person out there who want to have a 15 minutes of fame and try to attack this person. But the point is, I say what the fuck I want about my people because I know my people, like in the video I published earlier, we're at the bottom of the totem pole. Okay? Black folk act like a... It's a... It's all systemic. You know, black people have the most soul on the planet. I mean, you call it what it want. Black people or the, the, the original... But I don't care about none of that. All I know is there's a correlation between our, you know, blacks, not, you know, whether you dark chocolate or you one of these mocha niggas, probably like myself, I'm a little bit on the darker side because I'm out in the sun all day, but um, it's all systemic. I get that, you know, and I say this all the time that they've dumbed down. Black folk are the soul and the spirit behind a lot of entertainment and culture. And I'm very aware of that um, to the point where it's detrimental, okay? And I get the fact that uh, we've been exploited, um, but they've got us in a position in the last, I would say, 80 years, I think almost 90, I think almost 90, where they've just taken uh, the quote-unquote black community and turned us into emotional, uneducated, uh, politically uneducated drones. And uh, it's a shame. It really is. So I, uh, with that being said, I, um, these women, right? Uh, of course, today, I had an incident with Griselda, Gris, Griselda, whatever her name is. She's, I think it's Griselda, um, where she's somebody who 
I, I guess you would say pronounces to be a Christian. She talks about Jesus and all this stuff. So, yeah, that, right? So, I told y'all one time I heard her in the office crying, telling Ed, I can't, I, I can't, something, I don't know, basically complaining about her pay. And... When she came back up to the front, you know, she just, she she went into a mode where, again, these women from these third world countries, they're so fucking miserable. They're so fucking miserable because it's like y'all caught up, but trying, it's like y'all caught up between trying to be an Americanized black woman, but still trying to hold your lineage, uh, true to who you are and it makes y'all some assholes man especially the older ones i can't speak for the you know i've done dealt particularly with the older ones so she did what i had told this kid that we got here new kid and i told him i said bro you going to experience it she don't want to snatch some shit out your hand and all this other stuff and i ain't dealt with her in a minute but of course she tried that shit today gimme 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 bruh you need to calm your nerve and then she of course she she's one of these people that well myself i can't speak for her i'm the type of person that um i do write so much respectful all that that you look like a fucking fool in a dis uh, uh in a in a, a, a dis uh ingenuous asshole when you disrespect me in any way, any way, that's what the history that I've seen has shown. Almost like I say, dare to kiss a little ass. Nah, I wouldn't say that because it makes me like damn near like a little like dizzy and nauseous to, to do anything fake like that. But um, the point is, is that when I'm pissed off, she knows she didn't fucked up. And that's pretty much how most people come across me they like damn I fucked up you may think you got a case on me but you don't <laughs> so when I have to shut her off of course she pulled this shit today and I was like dude you got one more time and I'm walking out of here I'm not doing this shit today and old boy he walked over to me and was like bro I'm, I was about to knock her ass out. I was like, you ain't finna do none of that. But anyway, yeah, I told you she was gonna do that, bro. I said, I told you she was gonna start grabbing shit, snatching shit, uh, anything you ask her. Hey, um, is this A, B, thingy, ba, 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 boo? What is this? Oh my God, give it to me. Oh my God, do this, listen. I mean, damn, woman's like, oh, uh, uh, God, bro. So that's how she is just a miserable old hag like god damn dog but the highlight of that was you praise jesus right so today i got out of work go to walmart right and get to walmart and of course we're closing so all the registers are pretty much shut down off about two so i go to the register with the lady that i'm like oh my fucking god here we go like not in the mood and Lo and behold, all I bought was a towel. That's all I bought was a towel to take a bath with. So, um, she she's taking care of two people, but she's looking at me like, hey, uh, uh, hey, uh, I'm like, hi, hello, hi, hello, hey, like take care of the customers, and I just put my head down because I'm already irritated because I'm ready to go. And she's like, you working? You working? And I'm like, no, fuck, she's not asking me this for the 90 million time. I've told you, woman, you even see me with a fucking uniform on. I'm sorry, I'm cussing. You even see me with a uniform on. Why are you asking me this question? So at this time, see, and she's one of these people, right? She's the one that... I'm gonna make a part two, guys, because they're already telling me this video is too long. So, I'll be right back.